Okay. So for you guys, today I'm gonna be hanging out with some urban slingshot hunters. So the first part of the video is the hunting aspect, and then the second half we're gonna barbecue them up. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, you guys, this is the first bird of the day. So started maybe 15 minutes. There you go. It's uh, the first bird, the slingshot. The urban slingshot hunters of Vietnam. All right, back to exploring. So today, you guys, is gonna consist of a ton of driving. We're gonna take the ferry across. Um, I'm not really sure where I am, somewhere in Lo Mang, but Khong Bi, I don't know. But you guys can take a look. Shooting a slingshot is one of the hobbies that I picked up while living in Vietnam. I mostly do target practicing with the slingshot. Every once in a great while, some hunting here and there. Hunting with these guys was an adventure, a little challenging nevertheless, and unfortunately I wasn't able to get any birds this time. The birds we're hunting today are the red collar dove and the yellow bittern. These birds are found all throughout Vietnam. A lot of my YouTube channel is about me learning and experiencing the life of the locals in Vietnam, and Gun, one of my friends, is the person that's helped me a lot with the slingshot. If you don't like hunting videos, then there's no need to watch it. You can either turn the video off now, or skip to the second half for cooking. So, just got the bird. And you, obviously, you guys can see that it's across the, the small stream, the river. So. You get the bird, you gotta get it. This is one of the aspects of hunting. Yeah, so that and uh, Goon's friend. Uh, Alright, we just swam across the river. Let's get it out. Here's the bird right here. So, this is maybe about Moilamet. Have we met? Moilamet. So, about 15 meters out. Um, yeah, so he got it. So, these birds will be eaten later. So, this is not killing for fun. Um, these birds, they eat them. Or uh, they actually do like hunting with their hawks, they have predatory birds, so sometimes their other birds will eat these as well. Alright, we're gonna continue. No, 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 no. So. Oh! <laughs> All right, another dove. Uh, Gung over here, excellent shot. I'm not as good as them, but yeah, you guys can see right here. So here's a dove. Okay. So another shot. Gung, expert slingshot shooter. So some more food for tonight. There's Gung. And you guys, you definitely check out his YouTube channel, Hunting in Vietnam. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'll put, yeah, I'll put the link in the description for you guys. You can see more of his YouTube channel. Dragon Fruit Farm. See Gung right here walking down. I don't know if you guys can see on the camera. I think it's a dove. Um, for me, it's maybe 50 meters out, so he's getting a little bit closer. If he could get it from here, that's a ridiculous shot. But um, I, so we'll see what happens. We'll wait a second, see if he gets it. Farther away from the city, the more countryside areas, especially like the jungle or extremely remote areas, the birds get spooked easier. Wow, 25 meters out or so. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
What a shot. Dragon fruit has spikes. Wow. Joy, oi. No, lamb, what? Hi, my lamb, mate. Yeah, yeah. Alright, you guys, this is the dove that he shot on the telephone poles way down there. Joy, oi, what a great shot. That was <laughs> cr incredible. You, wow. All the way on those poles over there. Wow. So impressed. So. So good. Been driving on the motorbike. We've got a handful of birds. Um, I haven't got anything. I'm not nearly as good as them. Behind me, coming right now, is them and Dan on the motorbike. Excuse me, just them. Yeah, it's hot. Uh, doing the best I can. All right, because we have two motorbikes right now. So Dan. Dan. Yeah, Dan and Tham, the two other guys. Uh, they've taken off, but look at all these doves. The light's not so good right here, but a lot new, huh? New. Ah, they're so good with the slingshot. So good. I'm taking a little break right now. It's around noon. Tons of dragon fruit. Most of the dragon fruit don't have any fruit or they're not fully ripe yet. Uh, but these ones, are, they're close to being ripe. It's an interesting plant. Um, you don't have this in the States. But it's, it's wild. It's, you can see right here, if you get close, it has these spikes. It's hard to see on the camera. But they're everywhere because in the south right now it's it's dry season i think the rain will start within maybe a month or two i don't know exactly when but there's lots of birds just all over the place but yeah i was going through the dragon fruit going got another dove these guys are ridiculous they're so good because these these birds cool thing bit cool okay cool uh dove they're all in these plants. Just walk through, walk around, and there's a whole lot of them. Ah, okay. So hot. Now, we're gonna get cooking. You guys just watched the hunting aspect. Now, it's the cooking time. So we gotta clean the birds, prepare the birds. I'll show you guys with the birds that we have. Cleaning process and the cooking and just kinda hang out enjoying them. finish de-feathering this guy right here. So this is the before, the after. So we got some more birds to do though. So I'll be here for a little bit. It's a quick start to a fire. After the birds are finished cooking, banana leaves will be our plates, which I absolutely love. Because in Southern California, it's quite dry. Growing bananas is almost impossible. It can be done, but you need a lot of water to do it at your house. Not nearly anything you could do in the wild. All right, some barbecued birds. First bit they're burning off the extra feathers. Now they just take out the organs and they're cleaning them up to using some water. And it'll be time for barbecuing very shortly. You guys can see the meat is actually quite dark. It's not really white meat. Yeah, I know it, it's still semi-raw at the moment, but generally speaking, this meat is quite dark. Because in Vietnam, they have 
jimkup, which I believe is quail, which is quite common for street food. I'll get some later for another video. It's very delicious. But these guys right here, the meat is, it's quite dark. It's darker than chicken. These two birds right here are for the hawk. Gung has a predatory bird that he is hunting with. These two birds will be good for later. All right, this is a surprise to me. I guess we're gonna be cooking these birds inside pineapple. Before I was excited, now I'm, I'm ecstatic. I can't wait to try this. Cooking them inside a pineapple. That soon. So, some additional sauce. I'm not sure what the name of the sauce is. I'm sure a lot of my Vietnamese audience knows. You guys can tell me what that is. Look at this, you guys. I think there's four birds inside this one pineapple. If you're watching this, I'm sure you're hungry. Look at this. Inside the pineapple right there is the birds. We got corn cooking right here. Now, we have pork ribs on top. How awesome is this? Oh, I forgot, some bell pepper. I am so excited. Unbelievably excited right now. I have a big bag of pineapple and bell pepper. Outside of the pineapple right now is quite burnt, but I'm not worried about it because the inside is probably beautiful. We got some charred corn. That's okay. I'm so Okay, okay. Are you going down? Okay. I got be done. One day, but another be done. Good night. Chúc sắc. Ba da 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 đen cái phần vỏ của dứa rồi. Bên trong thì thịt chim nó chín đều. Look at that. Oh, damn. Oh, man. He's got pork ribs, and birds. Most of these are doves, so fresh doves that we just hunted. Cucumber, some spices that I have no idea what they are, but I'm excited, nevertheless. Look at that. What do you think? Be done? Yo! Yo! So excited. So, right here, you guys, you can see this is one of the birds part of the bird. Meat, a bit darker. So it's, you're not gonna have as much meat compared to a chicken. Smaller, it's easy to eat the bones. Just birds have hollow bones, so it helps them fly. But the meat, it's cooked in the pineapple, so it's nice, moist, it's soft. It has this, like a sweetness to it, the sauce. It is so good, it's so good. Look at this. Here, see, this is, I think, part of the ribs. The bones, you can bite through all of them. No problem. Oh man. So long. So long. So delicious. Because something like this, I think uh, a little pepper. Guy. A little spicy to it. Um, but no problem. I think for most people, they can tolerate it. It's so good. No problem. In Vietnam, you guys have a chim cup. I think it's quail. Chim cup. Um, actually, it, it tastes a little bit different because chim cup is usually uh, barbecued. You don't get them on. You'll get a lot for uh, street food. Oh, this. It's so nice. And moist. I just flavor to it. The skin is still on. Deep out of it. Wow. Here's 
another look at the meat. So again, it's it's not too white. It depends on some of the birds, but it could be a bit dark. I don't know if this is pepper, something else. These are the wine. It's like a kind of a tangerine. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, that. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. It's good. So this sauce, it's really salty, but it's it's nice, it's actually quite refreshing. So some peppers, so it's a bit spicier than the bird. You know, it's the cucumber, it's crunchy, it's nice, it's refreshing, so we've been in the heat all day. So something that's uh, have some moisture. Oh, man. <laughs> a sauce, cucumber, pork, the birds, almost so good. So here we got the pork ribs. Some barbecued pork ribs. <laughs> I'm super hungry right now. So everything is also delicious. This is completely different tasting from the bird. It's not as sweet, it's not as moist. It's nice though, nevertheless. Yeah. Barbecuing outside, there's something about that. That just, it's phenomenal. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just being outside barbecuing, so good. It's a little bit brown, but for me it's okay. Because I love, love fatty meats. This has some fat to it. Ugh. So good though. Uh. <laughs> Sound finished. Sound. So we're gonna clean up right now. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I gotta clean my teeth though. If you've made it this far in the video, I hope you guys enjoyed everything that you saw. Uh, for you guys, if you want to help support my channel, you know, hit the like button, leave a comment if you can, share. Really appreciate that. Also, I have other social media accounts for you guys. I have an Instagram, a Facebook. Uh, you can check those out if you like. If not, no problem. It's okay. I did a bird trapping video. I don't remember, but a little while ago. Um, I'll put the link at the very end of the video or in the description box if you guys want to check that out. And I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Take care. Thumbnail.